what is the Agile Development Method? In 1970, Dr. Winston Royce criticised the way that most software was developed. That led to Agile methodologies, originally designed for software, but can be used in many different environments. This time, we're going to look at what it is, why it's worth knowing, and what makes a scrum, as they're called. Okay, why is Agile important? You know, traditional software design methodologies focused on execution over innovation. This is because they were based on fundamentally the same ideas that Henry Ford used to build cars. The assumption was that work was a series of predictable or repeatable work units. Another assumption is that we can make all the really big decisions right at the start of the project. In today's world, however, we often know less at the start of a project than we would after doing some of the development of that project. Agile is therefore focused on that approach, and it's about learning and working at the same time. That means lots of things like feedback loops, inspections, and many steps along the way. Products from Agile processes come out with a regular delivery of features or capabilities that are incremental improvements and not suddenly big bang massive upgrades. Okay, so how does it work? You know, Agile responds to unpredictability through iterative work cadences known as sprints. After each of these sprints, the teams must have a potentially shippable product or at least some incrementally working function. The actual work within the sprint is managed by something called a scrum. These scrums use empirical feedback, team self-management, and short iterations to drive the program forward. Within the Scrum, there are three key roles. The first role is the product owner, who is responsible for the overall ROI of the product. This often means they must prioritize the functions of the teams and what they're working on. Now, this needs to be done on, based on a vision rather than a traditional roadmap that most development teams use. The second is the Scrum development team itself. Now, this is a cross-functional team made up from many different people, which is self-managing and self-organizing. Speed is achieved through keeping the team small and is usually without a formal leader. Last is the Scrum master, who is not a management authority, but is the facilitator of the Scrum. A good Scrum master protects the team from distractions, fixes problems and promotes good practices within the Scrum. Is Agile development right for you? You know, I think Agile is more useful than just building software. Many different projects could use it. It can be particularly true when you're starting a project without knowing all the answers as to what you're going to have to build in the end. However, it can be hard to practice and it can be difficult to keep to the rules of Agile. By, de by design, it can be quite disruptive as an approach and can cause contention between organizations. Done well, Agile can highlight the problems in your organizations that need to be fixed. That means the whole company may have to commit to an Agile approach if it's going to be really effective. And don't forget, doing scrums causes conflicts and that will challenge the existing habits at a non-Agile organization. Bottom line is this, Agile is as much about a mindset as it is about a methodology. Your organization has to be both willing and able to accept it if it's going to adopt as an approach to producing products. Yeah.